Hi. This January, I spent a long weekend visiting my friend in Burlington, Vermont. It was my first snowfall of the winter season, even though I live in New York City. That's Ethan with his cat, Maya, who loves live music, and his sweet dog, Bella. She's 13. And that's me, Jesse Z. I went to ski at Stowe Mountain, which we did for two days, but my favorite thing about Burlington is the slowness. Never feeling like I'm rushed or have to squeeze a lot into my days. Really, the only thing on the agenda is to spend time with people I adore and appreciate these views. I arrived late on Thursday night and it snowed all day Friday. I met Ethan in town for lunch at Cafe Hot. We both got chicken egg sandwiches, which are eggs that look like fried chicken but aren't, so are completely vegetarian. 10 out of 10 would recommend. He works for the city of Burlington, so took me into City Hall where Bernie used to work as mayor. There's Church Street, looking cute. At night, we went brewery hopping, so first stop, got a flight and boozy hot cocoa at Citizen's Cider. Then dinner and brews at Zero Gravity, which I really liked. This grain bowl and cauliflower wings were delicious. We even played two rounds of pool. I am practicing, working on it. <laughs> but we each won a round, so I think I'm getting better. We walked home and watched Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure to round out the night. On Saturday morning, I thought we'd go skiing because it had snowed all day yesterday, so I got up early and put on some underlayers and got ready for the morning. But apparently the conditions weren't great, so we ended up staying home, and I'm really happy we did. I made myself a latte with their home espresso machine. They only had goat milk in the fridge, so I tried that. It's honestly not bad. And also tried my best at latte art. Another thing that takes some practice. I settled into a lovely calm morning, playing with his pets, there's Bella again, and letting my mind and body relax. I love reading on breaks, so while I waited for my friend to get up, I read The Picture of Dorian Gray. Then learned that when he was little, Ethan played the cello and piano. sketching a little bit for fun, which is something I love but rarely do when I'm in the city. Again, didn't need to be perfect, but I like how it turned out. We eventually left the house for brunch and walked to Cafe Dim Sum. They had a bunch of options and even kanji on the menu, even though we got there at like 1 or 2 p.m. Then we walked around town more and explored this local artist shop. Tons of pottery, painting, sculptures, and I really liked these carrot plates. <laughs> they even have a sea bag store. These are bags made out of recycled sails from boats, originally from Portland, Maine. Ended the night with some cake and the big fish. Sunday, finally time to ski! Got some salad and chicken tendies for lunch at Spruce Peak Lodge. A special shout out to Ethan for teaching me and being so patient because he's a way better skier than I am. Thanks, dude. Back at home, we built a fire and played some backgammon, which I won, and actually learned how to play from Ethan a couple months ago. I 
love these cozy moments. We had homemade hot pot with his parents and s'mores to top it all off. These square marshmallows are low-key a game changer. Cheers. Maya came to say goodnight. I think it's hard how we always wait another day. We skied again the next day and it was actually so fun, but I wanted to do a little digital detox so didn't get much footage. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Let's live.